Hey, what's up guys? My name is Odolf and welcome to another one of my hit film tutorials. And so in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to do a light streak effect. And as you can see right here, that's an effect that I did in hit film. And for this project, we're going to need to download a project file. It's a texture I made for this effect I did. So if you want to follow along, just go ahead and download the light streak texture and put it in your texture folder in hit film. So, so it's also a good habit to get into making your own textures. You can do that in Photoshop or GAMP or, or even MS Paint. I think you can even do that in MS Paint. So, so just get in the habit of that. It's very helpful. So anyways, let's get started. So let's go into hit film right now and let's create a new composite shot. I'm going to call that light streak. And let's create that. So first things first, we're going to be using the particle engine. So let's go to 3D. Particle simulator. Yes, I want to add a camera. All right, so let's go to the controls for that. And of course, as you see for everything, it just starts out like this. So so let's just customize it a little bit. Let's go to emitter, emitter. And for the point, let's keep it at point and then random. Let's do the appearance. So appearance, that's where we're going to load the texture. So let me go right here. And the texture is called square. It's just four dots right here. And we're gonna load that and of course that doesn't look like we want it at all that's because it's set to random and it's just going around everywhere which is fine for it to be at random but the speed that's why we need to get down so let's go do movement need for lifetime let's put lifetime at five seconds and scale we'll worry about that later and the speed we want the speed to be zero so for the particles we're not moving from the emitter at all so when we actually move it they stay in place and not fly off everywhere because we want a trail effect going on and yeah for the scale let's bring that down how about right here is fine so so that's pretty much that's gonna be the tip tip of the last trick we're gonna be working from so the other thing we need is to get the trail the path of the live streak and for that we're gonna make a, make a point and then we're going to parent the particle simulator with the point. So then the particles will follow wherever that point go. So let's just go to new point. And we, can, we have this point right here that we can move around. So, so I'm going to do a pretty basic animation for this. But you guys can experiment and get whatever path you want the point to be going. So let's open these up. And let me put the tip to start right here and we're gonna keyframe the position and let's just move it just make a nice little snake pattern All right, so so that's pretty basic, and as you can see, when we move there, it starts, goes down, goes back up, goes down again. So that's that's it for our path, and let's rename this, and let's call it path. You have to do that, but whatever. So so let's go to the new particle simulator, and we're gonna be we are parented to it, and so we're gonna have to go to the shape and the point. Remember in my previous tutorials the point is everything's coming out from one point so we're gonna go to the point and we're gonna put attach to layer and then we're gonna parent it to path and as you can see if we go here then it's following the path nicely which is what we want so it's so already right here we already see a cool light streak effect going on so that's nice so let's go back to the particle simulator to make some more customizations all right so let's go to general and let's go to scale let me put the scale down more and let me put the lifetime at 10 seconds because I want it to stay so that's cool so so right here when we get to about right here you see that it's they're not sticking to each other and that's because we just need to increase the 
particles per second because it's only emitting 50 particles per second so since they're pretty much just dots we need to increase that so they can blend in more and in the effect that I did I had it at 600 let me put so yeah, I'm just gonna put 600 and as you can see right here now it's just a nice straight line that everything is going but it also kind of messes up your your render time like the more particles per second the more the render time will be but my computer is fairly powerful so it's not that bad right now so for this tutorial I'm just gonna put it at 300 so that yeah 300 you see gonna get the same effect so yeah and remember I had the different colors going and the way you do that you just go to appearance and over here where you see the color let's put it right here and we're gonna keyframe the color so well, what is the first color let's just pick blue as the first color move this right here pick yellow as the second color red green and let's let's go back to blue and also for this right here you see that it has the breath color and the current color so how much breath color means that if I, every time it changes it's the new particles that are being born that will change so that's why when we have all these different colors when it changes like this stays the same but the new particles change but if I had it at current color then pretty much every particle will change at, as the colors change so so you wanted that breath color so you have this nice little thing going on here which which looks cool so so yeah and that's it for this one and what we're gonna wanna do is add a grade layer because we want it to be like a shine like a shiny glowing kind of like a ne neon light looking thing so we're just gonna add a new grade layer on top of this to grade this and we're gonna go to blur and sharpen we're gonna add a diffuse and let's go to stylize and add a glow so for the diffuse let me turn off the glow right here for the diffuse we just want everything to just kinda be soft so let's just mess around with it here so right here we see we have like a nice edge kind of glowing outside it and everything's just kind of diffused and cool, cool looking so so now let's go on the glow and mess around with it for the project I did I had it at one right here then 40 percent and I just up the radius a little bit so right here we see it looks nice and also one thing before I forget set it to add instead of screen because if you want something shiny add is always the way to go so right here we see you have a nice neon light glow thing which looks pretty cool so so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial really so just play around with it try different textures and ju just try different things see what you can do Try different paths, try different settings. You you know, you can make it go big, you can make it go small, you can you can try different things. And also like I said, textures, try different textures, like make your own textures. It's a good habit to get into making your own stuff and so so yeah, and right here we have a nice streak going. So play around with it and you'll make some pretty cool stuff. So thanks for watching this tutorial and have a nice day.